Hello everyone, this is Buddyquit Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This might be the last episode. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Let's continue on. We're in the thick of it, so let's just get started. <laughs> Alright, uh, what did I did I say this? I don't know. <clears throat> Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't. But someone does. Uh oh. Someone? So then, what's your excuse, Righto? Ugh, crap. Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death. You piece of living filth. I'm sorry, I'm just so angry. <laughs> uh, he's such a bane. Uh, stop. No. <laughs> Ugh, makes me sick. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Uh, is this true, Mr. Wright? Um, if I show that piece of evidence now, Emma's sure to be made out as the murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. And if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. Ooh. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Now, this is a very tricky part of the game. Um, they're threatening you, and it seems like all hope is lost, but... There was something that was given to us that will help us out quite a lot. Just look at this again. Rules for submitting evidence. Rule 1. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Now, I mean, we were able to get away with some stuff because Gumshoe was with us before. But rule number 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. Anyway, um, I think this is what's gonna have to help us right now. I'll- I'm- I don't wanna give away too much ahead of time. <laughs> Let's just continue. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall. This is one time where we're gonna say no. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie! Chief Gant? You... You opened my safe! I know you took what was inside! The conclusive evidence! Mm-mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Wright! Why don't you show them? We found it together! Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Chief Gaunt? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. Why is he allowed to keep talking, considering they said he can't testify? <laughs> That's the only part I don't get. They said he can't t testify or anything, and yet he's still able to present evidence and talk and all this other BS. <laughs> See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? It looks like part of it's been cut off for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the chief of police, concealing evidence. 
This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. Mm-hmm. You just dug your own grave, fool. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall, Raito. Ah. Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. You're not allowed! What? You mean, you admit to it? I'm confused. Why is he allowed to talk? <laughs> so, it's so inconsistent. I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. Damn. So, you really were manipulating her! I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, that when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. So, you assisted Miss Skye? I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When we arranged the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance, of course. He's so despicable. <laughs> insurance? I was sure my plan would work. But it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? Who do you take me for, a fool? I didn't make chief a police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jar too? Ho ho ho. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Come on, Raito. Cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So, you admit to it then, Chief Gant. That you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe? Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have shown it then before it was too late. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine. Now, you're gonna show evidence. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. Alright then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. I know it's probably confusing, but honestly, <sighs> well, it will be explained. <laughs> it's it's so weird, especially because there's later parts in the other uh, games in the series that this issue with the whole evidence thing does not really matter as much. I don't know. It only comes up when it's convenient for the storyline, but whatever. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, 
You personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes. At last, you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Yep. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather... There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. You mean... It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Ho ho ho. You're as slow on the uptake as ever, Worthy. What? Think about it. Raito had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? Ah, uh, you mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that. M Mr. Wright, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Very well. I'll tell you. Unfortunately. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. I actually like this part though because Phoenix is like really sly. <laughs> and I like that side of him when he actually has a plan and he knows what he's doing rather than flying off the cuff of his pants, you know? <laughs> Alright, the person whom these fingerprints belong to are, of course, our dear Emma. Emma! Emma Sky! What? They're mine! I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Oh ho ho ho! You're really something, Raito. You knew this girl did it all along, and you still try to pin the murder on me. So it's true. Tragic, but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. How could you? You... you monster! Miss Sky. You knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you... You acted like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. He's so badass, I love it. Ha! Huh, but I'm afraid it is over, my boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. I don't think so, considering we have more games after this. <laughs> uh, breaking the fourth wall. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. Yeah, yeah, you keep talking. You done yet? <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer. That would be you. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? Oops, sorry, I did the judge's voice. <laughs> what? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is. 
Heck yeah, you! Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited! M Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth. What could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. This is so cool. I love this part. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. This evidence we just got. Take a good look at it. Notice how there's blood even on his shirt underneath? That shouldn't be possible. If this, you know... Well, I'll explain. Let's just use this. <laughs> and what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes, his shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Thank you for saying that, Judge. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that piece of cloth... Mm-hmm. Wait, there's no blood on it. Ugh. Since Emma Skye's fingerprints are on this cloth, there is no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword. There we go! No! Th this is nonsense! Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Sky? picked up the unconscious prosecutor, this is crazy by the way, and impaled him on the armor's sword? That poor guy. Why did he do it? It's just, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue and make Lana believe her sister did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? that you personally cut out this bloodless piece of the victim's vest. Ironic, isn't it? Through the very act of creating insurance, <laughs> you proved that you were the actual murderer. No! It's finished. We did it, y'all! Oh, never mind. Dang it! Oh, he looks weird! <laughs> oh boy. Did you just uh, do a little dookie in your pants, sir? <laughs> you need help? You need assistance, sir? <laughs> oh ho ho ho! That was close, Raito. You almost had me. Hmm? Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute your allegations. Your still shouldn't work though. He's still freaking out. I love this remix version of the objection thing. Or pursuit, sorry. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. No, it ain't, fool. Not anymore. Order, order! What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Oji. Earlier, 
All right, oh here, conceal that piece of cloth. Blah, yes, yes. We said we couldn't present it at this point in time. That's the key phrase there. Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair! Ho 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 ho! Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. No, more like it's on you, daddy. Well, you called him son, but I don't think actually, no, never mind. Let's erase that memory. No, we're not calling you daddy. No. <laughs> I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. True. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Uh, well, Mr. Wright. It seems, at last, the time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. It's all thanks to Lana. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposefully and illegally conceal this piece of evidence, or this piece of cloth. I did not conceal it illegally. Hail to the now. Come on now, I had my reasons. Certainly, I refuse to present evidence at one point. Uh huh. So the evidence is illegal. Uh huh. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean, you couldn't? Judge, you should know your law. Come on now. There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Uji, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You can't let him. There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Earlier you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. I can prove it. Here you go. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's point fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Ugh. Rule 1. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself, inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. And here is the crux of the matter. You see, at the time it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... Sorry, but can you recall when was that picture presented? It was shown only a few moments ago. No! He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. Ugh. You yourself confessed to a certain truth. And he verified it, yep, that you cut out that piece. 
No! It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer. And there's only one person who that could be. Damon Gant. The killer was you. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's too much for me. Dude went freaking nuts. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. For two years, he's been snooping around the department, trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Marshall, sorry about your brother, dude. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he had to speak out. Poor Goodman. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? We can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. Oh boy. Really? You killed him over that? He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked, too. I had a bad feeling about it, but never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. The cursed knife. You just did it on a whim? Freaking psycho. I couldn't just pull it out. You would only increase the amount of blood and you couldn't finish what you started. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my mistake. Detective Gumshoes. Bloody handprint. I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car. I'm sorry. We couldn't think of any other way to move the body. We broke the trunk, but what's the big deal? You pull down a lot more than us detectives. Gah. Really? Douche. What does this have to do with anything? You're horrible! How could you get Miss Sky involved in all of this? Well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So, you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker? I feel bad for having to do it. I couldn't sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well, you left the jar fragment and gloves. Yeah, it looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. But explain to me why you killed Marshall, that's still the weird part. They all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. 
They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. He's such a he's such a bad guy, and yet there's something about him, like especially right now towards the end when he's like, "Ah, oh, whatever, you guys got me good," that I'm like, "Well, I don't know. You're still somewhat likable. Why? You're so charming, you evil evil man." <laughs> I don't know. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. What are you doing in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me? We're the same. Don't compare yourself to him. Ugh. One day... You'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. That's the difference, though. He's not alone. He has me. Or, um, he has Phoenix. <laughs> you still didn't explain it. I still don't get why you killed Marshall. I understand that you wanted to get Joe Dark convicted, and you wanted... Lana to be under your thumb, but you really didn't have to kill Marshall like that. I I don't know. I think it's crazy. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Oji. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. I'm sorry too, Damon Gunt. I knew you as you used to be, long ago. You were once a fine investigator, and an example to others on the Force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are gone now, Aji. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now you have Raito here, and Worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. You see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it right now. The sound of a new beginning. Why you gotta be so likable at the end, even though you're such an evil man? <laughs> there are two things I want you to understand. Yes. First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Skye, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years. From the time I had Gant help me forge evidence, up until today. Dang. So... It seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Sky. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my. What high standards you have. For a rookie. Mm hmm? I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. Oh, she's smiling. She looks cute. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Sky. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Ugh. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. Hmm. <laughs> it was nothing. Are you gonna blush? Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, she's so proud of him. S stop it! I only did my job. Such a tsundere. <laughs> He's so cute. I kind of ship them, just a little bit. In light of this case, it seems a good self-examining is in order for all of us. Miss Skye. Yes, Your Honor. You are innocent of murder. However, although the Chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as his accomplice. 
A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. This poor woman. She really has suffered. Well, this trial has gone on far too long already. No kidding, man. This freaking LP has gone on for over a year. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, guys. Regarding the charge of murder... This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, not guilty. Woo! Yay! We did it, guys! I'm so happy! That is all. The court is adjourned. For the last time! Woo! At least for this LP. <laughs> oh, man. This was exhausting. At long last, it's finally over. Uh-oh. Emma! Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook, but at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No, that's not it. Just now, after the trial ended... I can see why Mia Fei thought so highly of you. Yeah, her smiling, okay. Do you... Yeah, we just saw that. Hmm. It's so nice to see her smile, though. You know, I did my best, too. But, Mana didn't say a single word to me. Aw, that's true. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Again, Gumshoe? Jeez. Oh, boy. Oh. Yes, I am. I'll come back later. Ah, Detective Gumshoe. What is it? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective run all around while on duty? And to top it off, you call me here? I've seen happier people at funerals. There we go again. <laughs> hey, lighten up, pals. I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? Nope. Not this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. Oh. Yay. Mana! Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Emma, I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day, two years ago... Hmm? It was the first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Sis... I asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. Uh. I changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. Awful. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. But I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I... I was scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you were only doing it for me. No. Huh? I turned my back on you that day. In hiding what I believed to be the truth, I was deceiving you. Sis... I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm happy now. 
You're happy. Of course. You know, sis, I always knew that one day you'd come back. And now you have. Oh, my heart. Oh, Emma. Emma. Please. Oh, thank goodness they're hugging. It's so adorable. No one can change the past. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? Because in so doing, we can find the way back to our path. And once we've found our path, we can move on from our past mistakes toward a brighter future. That's so cute. At least that's what I felt looking at those two sisters make up. Mr. Wright. Mr. Gumshoe. M me Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right, Edgeworth? Edgeworth? Stop hiding and come over here. Oh, he was hiding, huh? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> where was he hiding? Yeah, seriously, where was he hiding? I just came to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth! Right. Well, I'll be going now. Come back here. Mr. Edgeworth. I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. Oh. We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. It's too late for me. Oh, darn it. No matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't change my own mistakes. Mr. Edgeworth! Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gaunt was right. That's some bull crap. Pairing you two. He's nothing like you, douche. Nothing like you. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. It's scary, but I've been thinking the same thing for quite some time now. But Edgeworth, who knows, given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gaunt did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Edgeworth, don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Manfred Van Karma. Ugh, that name. Were both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. Hmm? You said, in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. That may be right, but think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. That's exactly right! Ugh. You were working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Oh, uh, yeah. What is this, a pop quiz? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wright. Show him what Lana's talking about. Evidence? that neither Edgeworth nor I would have been able to find on our own. This is pretty tricky. Um, I remember the first time I played it, I was like, what? <laughs> but uh, if you think about it, it had two pieces. There was the piece he had and the piece we found. So two pieces made a hole. That's the picture I drew. Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list and I had the other. Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, as eh, Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been talking for almost a whole hour. <laughs> it's time for me to go. Ah, oh, he's so stubborn. 
Mr. Edgeworth! If you'll excuse me, there are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. Edgeworth, what will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember, what happened in this trial can either make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. I know, it seems I owe you my thanks too, right? But what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Stubborn man. I'd better be getting back, too. Okay, I'll come visit you. It seems we both still have a lot to learn. Here, this is a little something for you. More law that he needs to learn. <laughs> oh, it's for her. That's so cute. That's another cute uh, little... It looks like a ducky. I don't know what the other creature was. Scientific investigation. It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Thanks, sis. I will. Oh, she's so cute. So adorable. And so, another case came to a close. Finally. <laughs> As for the sisters, I have faith. Faith that their lives have only just begun. Emma! I adore her so much. Especially in the later games. <laughs> I don't know. And as for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. Oh, look at all these familiar faces. A journey to rediscover myself. Well, don't go trekking off just yet, pal. Huh? What is it, detective? There's just a little matter to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But... I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Huh? Way to go, detective! I didn't know you had a wild side! Yeah, well, <laughs> you see, Mr. Wright here is the one who'll be footing the bill. Huh, huh? What, you think I could afford that with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal! Huh, huh, huh? Thank you, Mr. Wright! You're the best! Why is it? I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Since we're all here, why don't we all go together? Yeah, that's a great idea. Come on, guys. Let's go. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> of course he's saying objection. He's like, what the heck? So yeah, that was it, guys. Finally done. I arranged for a friend of mine in Europe to take care of Emma. She's a coroner. I think Emma will be pleased. As for me, this affair has pretty much ended my days at the prosecutor's office. I'll still, I'll f manage to find my way back to the field somehow. Then I'll be able to investigate crimes together with Emma. Still haven't seen that happen yet, but that would be nice. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Yikes, I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked my unauthorized investigation of the chief's office. If we penalized you anymore, it'd be worse than firing you. Yep, that's what they said. It just goes to show. You can't shake me off that easily. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, there's actually more... No, okay. I thought I had to do that now.
My new mission is to guard the main entrance and take care of Billy. Can you believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard. My partner is keeping an eye on the entrance for me today. I'll show them though. Someday I'm gonna make detective. Yes, sir. Then I can be just like that dick gum shoe. So yeah, I forgot that when they're talking, you can um get an image on the other side. Totally forgot about that. It's kind of hard because I'm trying to multitask. <laughs> I like this song, actually. Who's here? Um, whatever. Okay, it's the blue badger! Who doesn't have anything to say, which is fine, because it will be creepy if he did. He, uh, was actually more important than I thought he'd be. Well, yeah. Heh, <laughs> foreshadowing there. Oh! He fell apart. <laughs> Yeah, I do not remember this song at all. Huh. Interesting. Ugh, it's been a long road for this game. What is it? Can't you see I'm having me a showdown with the stick lunch partner? Miss Star managed to sneak this in to me. She's seen one of the gods, it seems. Well, cowboy, it looks like you did it. You even gave Bambina back a smile. Can you make sure Billy and the gang get their water? Oh, right, Billy's the cactus. That's who he was talking about earlier. I was like, who's Billy? Billy! Eh, it's you. Looks like we won't be seeing each other for a while. Oh, I didn't... That was weird. That's a farewell gift. I put a new meal on the menu. Oh, sorry. The top layer tastes as bitter as defeat, but the bottom layer is as sweet as victory. Kids seem to dig the turnabout theme. It's a hot seller around exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. Uh, it goes so fast. She said something about the right something. <laughs> Man, this game. I love it so much. <laughs> it took so long. I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? <laughs> anyway, he said he's been doing uh, something or other for uh, how many years? Well, anyway, I've got another trial to get to, so I'd better be... Huh? Oh no, I forgot my gavel. Sorry, gotta go. The judge, who is a lovable fool. <laughs> totally forgot his name and everything. Well, he'll remember it after... Uh... <laughs> the next case, pro or next game. <laughs> oh, which I do not plan on covering for quite a while. I need a break from uh, this Ace Attorney series. <laughs> oh, it's Maya! Ah, nothing soothes the soul like fresh country air. Still, sometimes I do miss hearing Nick and his objections. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. Maya, afternoon training's about to begin. Coming! Well, see you around, Nick. Oh, Maya. I haven't done your voice in forever. I kind of forgot how we did it. <laughs> I hope that was okay. I miss her. I miss you, Maya. <laughs> Are we going to say Larry, too? Was he in this case? No, he was not in this case. He was in earlier cases. Why couldn't I remember? What case? Uh, it was the last one, that's right. It was uh, the one with Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, it's this dude. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth? I brought you your tea. It's Edgeworth. What's going on? Oh, no. Edgeworth, where are you? Was that another you-know-what? I guess we'll find out in the next... Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh... I can't believe this is over. I'm happy, but I'm also kind of sad. Oh, the train station again. Thanks for coming to see me off. I can't believe I'm going to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a little sad, but I'll be all right. Whenever I want to see Lana, all I have to do is open this book. Aw. There's something in there? Yep. What is this? Aw, oh, pick 
picture when they were younger, or is it now? Oh, that's so adorable. They're cute. That's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> Aww. Thank you so much, Capcom. I really... <sighs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy. It's great. <laughs> Alright. Um, so that's it. So what I want to do... Hold on. Uh, no, not that. Oh, wait a second. Do I have to go to new game? Yeah. So I don't know if I showed these off. I don't remember. So yeah, I just want to look at these really quick and just say um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I This has been my favorite LP so far, just even though it's taken so long. <laughs> just because I'm so passionate about this series. I actually have something in mind that I would like to do soon. <laughs> they don't have a picture. That's the only thing I don't get why we don't have a picture for that. Um, but yeah, I, I really have been wanting to do a review. Like, not a review, but like um a discussion of sort, because I'm such a fangirl. I want to do videos about... That's more like theory and discussion about the series of Ace Attorney. Um, starting with something that I think I kind of brought up in the comments recently, someone, um, Pixel Coco, who's a new subscriber, by the way, she's great. Um, she mentioned something about Gumshoe and I really wanted to share my thoughts about it, but I said, I don't want to do that during my LP because that's really disruptive and annoying. So anyway, um, maybe keep an eye out for that. I, I might be doing that sometime soon, hopefully. It's going to be uh, different for me, that's for sure. I've never just recorded a video where I am talking about something I'm passionate about, and and it's not like just to entertain you guys, it's more like to have an open discussion or whatever. So yeah, that's what I want to do in the future. The near future, hopefully. And the next LP after this... Well, I, I am going to finish Ghost Trick, because I took a break in order to finish this game. And uh, after I finish Ghost Trick, I have another LP already in store in my in my plans. So yeah, thank you guys again. You guys are awesome. I hope you've enjoyed this LP. And I'm sorry that Smooth and I couldn't finish it together. But don't worry, he will be back. We will be uh, able to record again together sometime soon, hopefully. So uh, oh yeah, okay, that's it. So until next time. Have a nice day. Bye.